Hi, I'm Emma Kenny, and these are my life lessons. I'm a TV psychologist and I take a really practical and common sense approach to therapy. The primary work that I've done therapeutically has been with young people. It's kind of an obsession for me working with young people because they're individuals who've got so much incredible potential but are often unaware of how to unlock that. It's a great connector but it also perpetuates a myth of perfection. When you log on and you look at other people's lives, often being mythical about what's really happening in their worlds, people digest it, you swallow it. And that means that you start believing that everybody's life seems better, feels better, is better. If people have got a lot of time to post their lives on social media, that's because they're not experiencing real life. Taking yourself off social media or having periods of time without it enables you to reconnect in the present. Another big pressure that I think young people face is sex. It's so confusing. The reality is, as a teenager, you are sexually driven, and that's completely normal and completely acceptable. I think that there's a real need for young people to start owning what they want and how they feel instead of feeling pressured by everybody else's ideas. Porn is not real. It's a little bit like going and watching a superhero movie. It exists, but you shouldn't relate to it as a norm. So the advice I'd give is, you know, think about the fundamentals of relationships. Sex is great to enjoy, you should definitely go out and have it. You shouldn't feel embarrassed or ashamed, but at the same point, feel empowered by it. And if you're not feeling empowered and you're feeling ashamed, you shouldn't be doing it. I think we have to have some more raw conversations with young people about that. I also think that young people feel very pressured about the future. The idea that time is running out. We future focus everything. Now, the problem with future focusing is whilst it sounds sensible, you have no idea what's gonna to happen tomorrow. And it's only when you acknowledge that that you can really start to get to grips with your mental health and well-being. We peddle this myth in a capitalist system that you can be happy when, you can be happy if but we can be happy now. It's all about working in the present sense. One of the things that I advise all of my clients to do that is cheap, it is completely accessible, and it's literally available everywhere, is to get outside with nature. The reason that we say that isn't because of some spiritual ideal, it's because getting outside does lots of things that chemically alter the way that we feel. So take 20 minutes a day, that's all you need to get outside with nature, to reconnect with the environment around you, and I promise you, the results will be a higher sense of well-being.